All right, so the gold coins pertain that you guys got pertain to my speech because that's all the money you could save if you stay single in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So let me start off. My last relationship made me broke. <laughs> I was scouring the street corners every single day looking for a penny, every penny I could get my hands on to afford what the next day had in store for me. Now that I got y'all attention, my name is Christian David Vergara. My presentation is obviously on why dating in 2024 is so expensive. There you go. And I have a stat here, and I might butcher the name, but according to Indrabiti Lahiri, the average 18 to 36 year old in the UK is in debt for roughly around $4,000. And why? Due to relationships, wow. right? Which is quite a bit. And I can highly agree with this stat. Why? Because I can relate to it. During my last relationship, I was working day and night like a dog with this cash furniture business I had going for myself. I was making thousands of dollars and I was making pretty good penny, all cash. Next thing you know, it all vanished into thin air. So I had to think to myself and ask myself, where did all my money go? And then I remembered, food dates, Starbucks dates, excursions, and more really adds up when it's for two, right? So, sorry. I know we all love Starbucks, we all love coffee, and that is expensive, let alone for ourselves. Now think about buying that for two every single day, right? But this issue does not only affect one person in the relationship, but it affects both. A stat according to Sheila K. Corman says, the new generation of couples in college finds both in a relationship paying for excursions and dates with significant others. Therefore, financial costs concern both in a relationship. I feel as though with the use of social media now, the social media has ruined the general expectations for what, what someone expects in relationships. Now with social media, people can relate their own relationships to others, how they see online. Therefore, if they see someone else living lavish experiences, having lavish dates, lavish gifts, living a lavish lifestyle, they might want to experience that for themselves, but not realize what they have in front of them. And it, I also believe that with the use of social media, this lavish lifestyle, people are always looking for the next best thing, which is either financial wise or not. And personally, I think us as young adults living in Canada imposes a big enough financial burden on us. Mm -hmm. So we do not need these extra costs of these issues, right? And I know, I know I'm right if I would say all the single people in here, if we were to get into a relationship, we might be happy right now, but our wallets will definitely not be. <laughs> Evidence by study find staff to support this information states that 37% of Americans are now going on less dates because of the economy. I think we all remember when McDonald's and other respective fast food places had their dollar menu. Am I right? Uh, I kind of messed up my size, but it's all right. It's okay. And now fast food meals cost as much as sitting down at a restaurant, which does not make sense. I remember I spent like $20 last week at McDonald's. I'm like, <laughs> that's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> so, in a relationship, there are no hiding away from the cost that food causes you, right? So you can try to eat in, eat fast food, eat out. It's still expensive every single way, right? And food is not the only thing that will get your wallet aching in a relationship. Now imagine your significant other has a birthday in, September, in December. Now you have birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, New Year's, winter dates, and now the blink of an eye, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> if you're like me, then thousands and thousands are spent in a matter of a couple months. 
Hence, relationships are not as picture perfect financially as you see them in the movies. You know? Taking a financial perspective on this, relationships and going out on individuals for dates have many hidden costs and fees that do not always ensure a profitable return in the long run, if you know what I mean. According to Kate Miller Wilson, the average relationships someone has in their 20s lasts around four years. But now with our new, newer generation, we have had a less committed loving style and we cut that number in half. So now the average relationship in our 20s is about two years, right? Therefore, I go back to my point saying that there are a lot of costs in going out on dates and maintaining a relationship that do not always ensure having a long lasting relationship in the long run. Even though this statistic might be true, I do not discourage people to go out on dates that might not end up in a solid relationship. Why? Because I believe it is better to know what type of food you want going to a grocery store instead of buying food that you end up not, not liking once you've already got it. <laughs> in conclusion, I believe relationships are a great thing and that love is a hard thing to come by. And if it comes by to you, you should not let it walk away. But I also believe that finding new eligible partners and maintaining relationships have a lot of hidden costs that people not, do not tend to anticipate. But I think that a lot of people can agree that if someone truly loves you, they will not care about your financial situation and treating someone well goes a lot, whole lot farther than buying yourself into someone's life.